prayers for protection. As said in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. May these prayers for protection strengthen your faith and bring you peace and safety. Daily Prayer for Protection Lord God, I pray for your protection as I begin this day. You are my hiding place, and under your wings I can always find refuge. Protect me from trouble wherever I go, and keep evil far from me. No matter where I am, I will look to you as my protector, the one who fights for me every day. Your love and faithfulness, along with your goodness and mercy, surround me daily, so I will not fear whatever might come against me. My trust is in you, God, and I give thanks to you for your love and protection. In Jesus' name, Amen. Prayer for good health and protection from harm. We bless you, Lord, for you are our Jehovah Rapha, the healer of all our diseases. Our body is the temple of your spirit, so we pray for protection from that which could bring harm to us physically. Guard us from stresses that steal our emotional strength and lower our immunity to fight infection. Heal us of past traumas that may affect our present or future health. Teach us how to discipline our bodies so we can grow stronger and increase our physical stamina. When challenges arise, we need not fear, for you have given us a spirit of power, of love, and a sound mind. As the great physician, you know us so well. You ordained every part of our body even before we were born. Help us to treat our bodies with respect as your beloved creations. We want to serve you with excellence, so in our weakness, grant us strength and good health so that nothing will prevent your plans for our lives. Protect us from contagions and diseases that can riddle the body and bring dangerous results. Safeguard us with wisdom to use well the rest you provide as we wait on you and with you daily. Our lives and our health are in your hands, Lord, and our trust and faith are in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer for protection against evil. Lord Jesus, evil is such a harsh word, and yet your word uses it frequently to describe the opposite of good. While we are all capable of sin, I ask your protection against those who call good evil and evil good. Guard us from those who scheme against righteousness and from those who twist truth into lies to accomplish their evil intents. May your angels hover ever near to eradicate fear and fight against dark spiritual forces we cannot see. Help us cast down every imagination and thought that our enemy tries to use to exalt itself against you. You dealt our spiritual enemy a faithful blow on Calvary when you died on the cross for us and were resurrected on the third day. While evil still roams, the power of your name and your blood rises up to defeat and bring us victory against every evil planned against us. While malicious actions may disturb us, we use the armor of God you have given us to stand firm. You will bring justice in due time for all the harm and needless violence aimed at your children. Until then, we remain in your presence, aligned with your purposes, and we look to you as our supreme commander and protector. Help us to avoid temptation and deliver us from evil, Lord. You are the mighty one, the one who will ultimately bring all evil to light. With you, Jesus, we are safe. Prayer for the Protection and Safety of Family by Ryan Duncan Lord, I pray your emotional, physical, and spiritual protection over my children and their children. Keep evil far from them and help them to trust you as their refuge and strength. I pray you will guard their minds from harmful instruction and grant them discernment to recognize truth. I pray you will make them strong and courageous in the presence of danger, recognizing that you have overcome and will set right all injustice and wrong one day. Help them to find rest in your shadow as they live in the spiritual shelter you provide for them. Let them know that the only safe place is in Jesus and that their home on earth is only temporary. Prayer for Personal Protection by Lynn Cook 
Father, I come to you today, bowing in my heart, asking for protection from the evil one. Lord, we are assailed moment by moment with images on television, the internet, books, and newspapers that leave us vulnerable to sin of every kind. Surround us with your divine hedge of protection. Encompass us round about with your strength and your might. Let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. And may you shelter us, that those who love your name may exult in you. For it is you who blesses the righteous man, O Lord. You surround him, favor as with a shield. Psalm 5, 11-12 Lord, I ask that you protect our minds. Father, the mindset on the flesh is death, but the mindset on the spirit is life and peace. Romans 8, 6 O God, set our minds on you. Let us not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we may prove what your will is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Romans 12, 2 Help us by the power of your Spirit to think on whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute. If there is any excellence and if anything is worthy of praise, let our minds dwell on these things. Philippians 4.8 Strengthen us in the power of your might, O God. Dress us in your armor so that we can stand firm against the schemes of the devil. We know that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. You are our keeper, O Lord, the shade on our right hand. Protect us from all evil and keep our soul. Guard our going out and our coming in from this time and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer for protection from earthly enemies. Precious Jesus, you know what it means to be pursued by earthly enemies. And because of your compassion and understanding, you know that the harm we and our families face every day. As Christians and followers of yours, we will be marked as enemies. Our children need protection from bullies, from misguided avengers, and from false philosophies that attack their spiritual heritage. Fiendish plots pursue our children's hearts daily and try to entice them into harmful practices. Hold our loved ones tightly, Lord, and never let them go. Command your angels, Lord, to keep us in all our ways, so that no harm or disaster will come near to our home or our lives. Our trust is not in our ability, but in your stability as our El Shaddai. Our weapons of warfare are spiritual, and we look to you for victory. Show us when to speak up, when to listen, and when to act. Always aware that you are fighting our battles for and with us. Show us when to speak up, when to listen, and when to act always aware that you are fighting our battles for us and with us. Teach us to love our enemies, to pray for them, but to resist evil in your powerful name. We don't fear those who might try to hurt us physically. We are confident in our eternal security. Our fear is a holy, righteous reverence based on who you are and whose we have become in you. As Commander-in-Chief, you will defend us from all earthly enemies. And as long as you are with us, we fear no evil. In your name, Amen. Prayer for Children's Security by Rebecca Barlow Jordan Lord, I pray that my kids, grandkids, will develop an internal perspective and purpose, not an earthly one. Help them to see life and every challenge through your eyes eager and unafraid to share with others the good news of Jesus wherever they go. I pray that they will set their minds on things above, not just what's going on here, and that they will be rooted and grounded in your love. I pray that they will come to understand the extent of your own love for them, 
that it surpasses all the head knowledge that they will acquire in school. I pray that they will be filled up with you from morning till night. Prayer for your husband's protection. Lord Jesus, I ask you to protect my husband and shield him from danger. Make him strong, defined by your character, so that he can lean hard on you for wisdom in any situation. Guard him by the power of your name and allow nothing formed against him to prosper. Hold him close to your heart with his eyes focused always on you. At home, work, or wherever he goes, keep his heart and thoughts pure. Lead him away from temptation and help him to be continually aware of the enemy's efforts to distract, deceive, or discourage him. Cancel every attempt to discredit my husband or his salvation. May your right hand strengthen him daily as you guard him with your presence. Help him wear his spiritual armor well as he tries to lead his family with integrity and honor. Seal up the exits that cry for escape when responsibilities grow heavy on his shoulders. Thank you that you promise to carry his burden and lighten his load in the daily battles of life. Preserve his testimony and keep his faith rooted deeply in you, Lord. You are his sure defense, and you are the only one who can truly keep him safe. Thank you, Jesus. St. Patrick's Breastplate Protective Prayer Celtic monks used it to start their day. The hymn was several stanzas long, and the last two stanzas were especially memorable and moving. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouths of friend and stranger. I bind unto myself the name, the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Priestly Blessings, Prayer from Scripture. Number 6, 22 through 27 is known as the Priestly Blessing and sometimes the Aaronic Benediction. There are seven requests made in this prayer. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons, This is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So they will put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them. 1. The Lord bless you. 2. And keep you. 3. The Lord make his face shine upon you. 4. And be gracious to you. 5. The Lord turn his face towards you. 6. And give you peace. 7. So they will put my name on the name of your child slash children. Scriptures for protection and safety from the Bible. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. God is our refuge and strength, and ever-present help in trouble. Psalm 46.1 My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. John 17.15 And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Matthew 6.13 Because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life, and you will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 16.10-11 Five Psalms that remind you God is near. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4 You are my hiding place, 
you will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Psalm 32, 7. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all of their troubles. Psalm 34, 17. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. Psalm 91, 14. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Psalm 145, 18.